Welcome, weary traveler. You have stumbled across a comedy chronicle of cranial concoctions, a frenzied fusion of befuddled fables, an exacting expose on eclectic mythos. Should you brave ahead, you will find yourself enlightened, delighted, and only slightly misinformed on the many fantastical worlds that exist within our favorite media. Will you learn all there is to know? <laughs> that I cannot say. But I can say it will be the lore you know. Welcome to The Lore You Know, a podcast where three friends discuss the deep lore of media that they grew up on and grew to love. I'm your lore master today, Francesca, and we also have... Oh yeah, I'm CJ. I'm loving this intro. I don't ever want to do an intro again. Now that I'm hearing the professionalism here, I'm kind of thinking that... Should I try that again? <laughs> that may... No, okay. no, I'm, we're keeping all... That's all good. This is this is great. I'm CJ. I'm, I'm excited to talk about uh clomping i believe it's called yeah i mean i'm ethan i feel like that intro was maybe a little bit too professional like our our standards are raised here i don't really like that but uh you know maybe you need that high class stuff when we're talking about a topic like my little pony we'll be focusing on the elements of harmony and how they impact the series at overall okay now is this like are, are these elements like avatar elements are no. we talking about They're more like... like virtues oh so we're in sort of like a judeo-christian area yes. that's actually a bit we're of an expertise morals. area of mine There's okay so many oh morals okay. And lessons. cool but we're also right. learning about the ponies right because i'm yes. i'm coming into this knowing like absolutely nothing about my little pony i was always afraid that if i watched it i would <laughs> be taken in and become a brony so i had to avoid this like the plague i mean once That's again true. it's a very wholesome show uh bronies are the male fans and pega sisters are the female fans no that's so. not a thing <laughs> what is the church's opinion on this because a lot of times <laughs> in christianity they they try to hide the knowledge of like witchcraft from the youth because they are also afraid that just no just learning about witchcraft will convert well, the pure souls into little satanists so is the, this the same thing no, in the title card you'll see the magic is friendship because friendship is magic so okay that's, so that's this this the... is this is disavowed then we're already <laughs> we're done with uh our our christian ways here Yes. Okay, so they do do they do actual magic though, or yes. do they only have friendship? They do. Okay, so the magic is magic though. Let also. me introduce you to the land of Equestria. In the land of this Equestria, there's gonna be musical. a lot of horse puns, so just be ready. Uh in the land of Equestria, there there are the pony inhabitants. There are the earth ponies who have a special connection to the earth, obviously. And then there are the Pegasi who have wings and the ability to fly. They walk on clouds and they also control the weather in the land. And there are unicorns who use their horns to perform magic. And then there's a fourth type of pony that it's not very oh common. God. They're the alicorns. So the alicorns She's... are typically the rulers of Equestria. They have Wait, both Wait, pause. Unicorns. Okay. <laughs> well, hold on. So, so there's... Okay, hold on. I have to pick those parts. So those earth ponies, which are called that presumably because they can't fly or do magic or anything. They they're are just, very uh, they're integral just to the success of the land. They make it very Okay, clear. so they're, they're just true. They're just filth they're just filthy ground ponies. They they're like regular horses. <laughs> they have special Roger. connections. Yes. Okay, right, because they can't leave the ground because they're horses. Got it. Correct. Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so like dirt horse. Was an alternative <laughs> title, but they kept Earth rising pony. up against that. We gotta that. keep the pony. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, my no, I wanna, pony. <laughs> so I want to make sure I understand this. It's Pegas Pegasi are ponies, and unicorns are ponies, and yes. Earth ponies are ponies. They're specifically Correct. the Earth breed of pony. The like Correct. 
the <laughs> the lesser of the three pony kinds. Not lesser. They are. Well, okay, but like well, in the we'll hierarchy. Into the founding of Equestria on a different episode, but today we're just this is a brief overview of the inhabitants. Okay, now okay. I'm just saying, I already have many questions because you have one group of ponies who have the ability to fly as well as control, control the, the weather. weather. Correct. You have another set of ponies who can perform magic, which <laughs> depending on what that means could like make them anything from like a sideshow to demigods. And then you have <laughs> you can horses. Get both in series, yes. <laughs> then dirt horses, right. So okay, so there's They're the to farmers. create a horse to create a horse, you have literally two two bits of information. Just do they have wings? Do they have horns? But if, if the answer both. is no to right, if the answer is no, <laughs> you get dirt horse. If the answer is yes to wings, Pegasus. Mm -hmm. Yes to horn, uh, the other unicorn. one, unicorn. Yes to presumably, both, you get. You get both. This is your ruling class. This is the, okay. Yes, these are the elite ruling class. So the alicorns can harness the magical powers of unicorns, the flight abilities of the pegasi, and the strength of a good true heart of an earth pony. Okay, truly making the <laughs> the dirt horses completely obsolete <laughs> by just the fact that this one exists. Right. Well, there once there are many. You of need these. an underclass who could do the work. It's not that they're <laughs> right. absolute. They are literally I, the farmers. They just need to know to their imagine place. That's, they tell Am I the to land. imagine that they are the most uni like the most uh, uh, numerous of the horses, <laughs> like most of the horses mm -hmm. are ground ponies, and then these are sort of a small elite faction of scholars and and rulers and such. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> okay. wait, 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 wait. Do the alicorns this... like do? Are, no, do we're they... moving on from we're that. On. I, I need to know the what the union situation the is for no, the there, Earth ponies. There will be more discussion about the other inhabitants, such as griffins and changelings and all that stuff. In oh, okay, <laughs> sure, of course. Okay. Sorry. But Sorry. the series follows the main six. Please tell me this is a pun you created and not nope, one that the television. It is an show. official I'm, one. <laughs> I'm looking at F Francesca was kind enough to make us a slideshow, so Ethan and I get beautiful visuals. So uh, I'm going to go through course, them. <laughs> if if you haven't figured out, the main six is spelled exactly like it's not supposed to be. <laughs> Because like they're uh, horses, like, and they have they're horses. Yes. Yes. And you, yeah. And you Great. too, listener, can experience these amazing visuals if you uh, check out this podcast on our YouTube channel, so that you and can it'll be in the show notes. Our suffering faces as we learn about uh, My Little Pony magic and hierarchy. Their faces and, uh, hey, let off you're, having a great time, I promise. If you're if you're audio only, that's great too. We'll do our best to describe these whimsical I'm designs. I'm sure the disdain comes through your these most. these disgustingly yeah. marketable characters. So, yes, no, to Twilight be clear, don't you don't like Google these ponies yourself. Let us describe <laughs> this, them. Let the let the professionals take care of it. Do not look up <laughs> these these beautiful horses on the internet. Well, your lore master has already taken into account the need to describe them, so they will be described in depth later on in this episode. Beautiful. So this is just, once again, a brief overview. So Francesca, Twilight Sparkle is the main protagonist. Of lore. And the other five, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Applejack, and Fluttershy, are her bestest friends, and it follows their adventures. And they learn lessons of friendship, which are then recorded in the Journal of Friendship. And throughout their lessons of friendship, they also take down big baddies using these. Some the of these are happening. okay. Wait, so go back. Yeah, some yeah, of those were, were OC characters, right? Like from <laughs> My Little Pony Fandom .com These or whatever. are official characters. So we have Wh Nightmare Moon. One of them is a barbershop duo. <laughs> yes, that's Flim and Flam. They're con artists, basically. Uh -huh. So we also have Discord, King Sombra, Queen Chrysalis, uh, Starlight Glimmer, the Pony of Shadow, Lord Tyrick, and um, I can't remember the small pony's name, I'm going to be honest. Is she doesn't that, show up until like, that, the last, second to last season. That one's just Twilight Sparkle with highlights in her hair. No, that is Starlight Glimmer. Very different, and she deserves her own episode. Uh -huh. oh, my, oh, so my God. So these are just, uh, these are just of some of the villains that they come across. However... Um, not all of them will be featured in today's 
Uh, yeah, no, that's that's for the best. There's a lot of them. <laughs> There and are. Am, there's a lot of baddies in the series, and there's like, a lot of epic duels, like I, I'm Dragon already... Ball Z style fights. <laughs> I okay. I I told Fran. I told Fran she could have one. I promised Fran one My Little Pony episode, and she keeps referencing as if there's going to be more. There will be. You're more. gonna have to pull. You're gonna have to pull in like a you million guys have subscribers. So many questions. We have. If to you get. Them. If you get. If you get. 500 people to watch this podcast we can do another my little pony okay. episode all right Sita just kind of like once we get to the 500 level he just like cuts out that one bit of audio <laughs> 10,000 re-upload it <laughs> <laughs> all right continue on you're doing so, great Fran once again the focus of this episode is the elements of harmony and we're hmm. going to focus on the elements of harmony and the villains that they need to use the elements of harmony on basically and the elements of harmony are different artifacts that each represent an element of friendship but they can only activate if the wielder of the artifact possesses the corresponding trait and all six are being used at the same time so they have to all be together what? okay because <laughs> they're friends <laughs> so so <laughs> There okay. was a, there was a seventh friend, but there was not an element of harmony to go with it. So that one got kicked out. We don't that need that many will, friends. That will actually come up later. In, oh my god, in- Ethan, stop figuring out all the plot points. <laughs> so this is this is like when you're like do when you're doing a science project with your with your bros, and they tell you to like group off into groups of three, but then the fourth friend is like, you know. <laughs> Hey, we, we, could enough, do, we could do two do groups go, of two and they're like, no, we're actually pretty we good go with to, our solid three here. We go um, to public school. We don't have enough supplies for, for all you guys to be in, in one big group. So <laughs> you're going to have to share. Are you ready to? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Sorry. Sorry. Fran, Fran just put up a slide that said, friendship is magic. And then my heart sank as I read the next line. Heart one. Heart one. Well, to be fair, that's the name of the first episode in the series. That's not my fault. All right. oh, that no. is okay. the creator's fault. I just I just had I just saw my life flash before my eyes. All right, continue. Yep, yep. All right. The next slide, um, I did just take the transcript from the episode because it did such a great job of introdu- introducing the show and some of the lore that will bring us through the series. So once upon a time in the magical no. land of Equestria. There were two regal sisters who ruled together and created harmony for all the land. To do this, the eldest used her unicorn powers to raise the sun at dawn. The younger brought out the moon to begin the night. Thus, the two sisters maintained balance for their kingdom and their subjects, all the different types of ponies. But as time went on, the younger sister became resentful. The ponies relished and played in the day her elder sister brought forth, but shunned and slept through her beautiful night. One fateful day... The younger unicorn refused to lower the moon to make way for the dawn. The elder sister tried to reason with her, but the bitterness in the young one's heart had transformed her into a wicked mare of darkness, Nightmare Moon. She vowed that she would shroud the land in eternal night. Reluctantly, the elder sister harnessed the most powerful magic known to ponydom, the elements of harmony. Using the magic of the elements of harmony, she defeated her younger sister and banished her permanently in the moon. The elder sister took on responsibility for both sun and moon. And harmony has been maintained in Equestria for generations since. Okay, so first question, kind of the most important thing: banish her permanently to the moon or in the, in moon. the moon? She's inside the moon. Okay. okay, so Hollow Moon, Hollow Moon theory confirmed. There's a <laughs> horse in a, there with a horse. Yeah. So Roger. Wait, no, we have. Oh God, we have more questions. We're not moving on yet. <laughs> All right, this, this sort all of right. this sort of this sort of implies that the moon has to not be in the sky for daytime to happen, but in our right. reality, that's not generally the case. So it's like one or the other. Yes. So the also the all right. The rulers are the ones who are in charge of raising the moon and the sun and lowering the moon Fran. and the sun each day. Fran. Yes. How did the older sister use all six of the <laughs> pony crystals? With well, she was just one. She was just by herself. We will get to that later. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, There's I so was much really information that, to come. Uh, I, so, sorry. I thought I thought clever CJ here found a plot hole, but no, uh, my right, pony's right. airtight. Mm-hmm. Very good. Um, I I am curious. Like, do we at any point bring up the fact 
that the older sister was maybe like, you know, dropping the ball on not really taking care of her, her younger sister's mental health and just sort of let her simmer in it until she went bad and then banished her to another realm. That is, is that... addressed it throughout the series, but I will not be able to cover that today. Th this is a classic power struggle between mm -hmm. two co-rulers. So this is just a hostile takeover. I've seen it a million times. IRL. Um, also, Nightmare Moon is spelled the way you'd expect. Yeah, so. no, don't like it. But there's also a pun of mare in there. So right. it's great. Yeah, that's it's awesome. Yes, it's that's lovely. A it's lovely. Female yep. horse. It's a yeah, female horse. I get it. it comes oh, are there any also, boy horses? Ponydom. There are boy horses. They're just not the main oh. characters. Okay. okay. So they reproduce the normal way? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. presumably there's like a there's a there whole. There are babies in the show. Yeah, Holes. presumably there's like a whole project of like lower class horses trying to breed their way into the upper classes like unicorns getting together mm -hmm. with pegasi because there if they are just some right. yeah class issues yeah if you yeah the, that's you know. a good that's a, hey that's a good point if you bang one issues. of the ones if you bang one of the ones with the horse with one of the ones with the wings do you get the the cool one the one with both <laughs> no that's not how um alicorns happen and that will also be addressed later on the banging of the no, two horses alicorns. and try and make a third. How, how oh, okay. alicorns happen. Uh -huh. so, I, feel like, I feel like we're being bad listeners right now, CJ. Uh, tell me more. <laughs> we're, being, we're being active participants. All right. So, turns out, Twilight Sparkle, our protagonist of the series, is reading this in one of her lovely books. And we find out within the first few minutes of the series that Twilight Sparkle is a bit of a recluse who values academia over anything. And in fact, Pony's remark that she's more interested in books than friends. So okay. in a world where <laughs> literal friendship gives you magical abilities, we she's don't know chosen that yet. a life of solitude. We don't know that yet. So we as the audience <laughs> or the ponies don't? The ponies don't either. Nobody knows about oh. the magic of friendship yet. Okay, oh, sure. All right. Okay, so there's no friends in this universe? There are right, friends, whatever. but it doesn't result in magic I, at this point. I'm not going to hang you up at every single sentence, friend, but I'll I gotta just know that I'm I'm <laughs> stewing right now. I'm I know. stewing. I'm, I knew this would make both of you very upset, and I'm having uh -huh. a good time. So when Twilight Sparkle is reading this story, this legend, she does more research in her house, and she has an assistant. A baby dragon named Spike, and she's kind of a dick to him, in all honesty. And she reads more about this legend, and legend has it that on the longest day of the thousandth year, <clears throat> the stars will aid in her escape, and she will bring about Nightmare Eternal. And the day after tomorrow is the thousandth year of the Summer Sun Celebration, which was made as a holiday to celebrate the defeat of Nightmare Moon. Um, oh my gosh, conflict. Fran, uh, wait. Fran, is this is this an actual picture of the moon in the show? Yes. Okay, cool. The mare's in the very, moon. very cool and good. Um, so, there's second, a there's a there's a unicorn. There's, there's a, a horse unicorn head, in the moon. Head yeah, on the moon. no, no, yes. the, the craters form to look like a unicorn. Yeah, it's very it's Correct. very pretty and beautiful and and great world building. But can I ask like why <laughs> it, the stars are going to aid her in her escape? Like why? It's a, it's a magic, Ethan. It's just, you should it's a know when you, it's just a prophecy. Yeah, that's all. When you do a magic spell to banish a person People you have are to banished permanently obviously uh -huh. yeah you have to allow a way for them to get out that's like the rule yeah. of of doing a banishment there has Correct. to be something that happens to there uh -huh. has to be an escape plan i feel i'll bit. i'll yeah. hold it back but i feel like there's going to be a lot of moments of me just saying um why what it because will be explained friendship, <laughs> because because friendship is magic ethan i'm on board now too you have to get on board with me okay. i'm gonna carry you i'll care master ethan I can't carry a burden, but I can carry you. Uh, I mean, you that's can. from the Lord. Yeah, that's you from definitely the, that's from the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. from the that's that's from the Lord of the Rings. So, if you recall <laughs> the alicorns from earlier, Princess Celestia is Twilight Sparkles' like mentor, her teacher, because she studies at Canterlot. The royal is she immortal? Area. Is she the one who did the first? Celestia thing? is the ruler, and she is the one who banished the, her sister in the legend. Yes. A thousand so, years. So she's yes. immortal. Neat. They live a while. They live a while. Um, and so Twilight Sparkles, of course, like, oh my gosh, I need to tell Princess Celestia that Nightmare Moon is going to come back at the Summer Sun Celebration. And we have to do something about it, right? Um, Princess mm -hmm. Celestia says, stop that. 
you must st simply stop reading those old dusty books. And instead, I'm going to send you on an assignment to go to Ponyville to get ready for the Summer Sun celebration, because that's where it's going to be held this year. And Twilight's very upset because she's like, excuse me, there is a world ending thing happening and you're sending me to check on preparations for a celebration. This is bullshit. Um, and then just to really like stab it in, Celestia tells Twilight to make some friends while she's there. Uh-huh. That's that's really that's like it's kind of rude. Yeah. Well, um. <laughs> Twilight needs friends because she's kind of if you watch it she is pretty much a bitch <laughs> to her hey, Fran, friends <laughs> why are there horses that pull carriages in this world is that because like an uber flying. driver thing they're, well they're this is the royal guard because they're princess twilight princess. sparkle it's, it's class doesn't... stuff okay sure like jobs. yeah <laughs> you know you know everyone's gotta work everyone uh, needs gotta work. a gig they're also See, like the royal guard Constant, yeah. That kind of thing. Yeah. What what are those uh what are those things called? They're like the little thrones that you have like four people, each one like carries a pole uh to a just bears? A, a palin queen. Palin yeah, palin? no, it's it's like that where you just sort of have lessers carry you around. Also they get paid. <laughs> okay. Like these are jobs. Like it's not like Hold on, what is the horse currency? Tell me now. Bits. Like the thing <laughs> horses put in their mouth. I guess. <laughs> That's what the... Cool. Anyway. Okay. So, Twilight goes to Ponyville. So, Twilight Sparkle goes and she decides, I'm going to try to do check in on these preparations as fast as I can so I can do more research because luckily she gets to stay at the local library for her stay because... That's cool. And so she checks in with Applejack to make sure the food's going well. Uh, she checks in with Rainbow Dash to make sure the skies are clear, because as we learned previously, Pegasi are in charge of the weather. So she's checking in to make sure it'll be nice and sunny for the summer sun celebration. She checks in with Rarity to make sure the costumes and everything are good to go. She checks in with Fluttershy because Fluttershy is in charge of the animals that are in charge of the music. And then she's then Pinkie Pie kind of just throws Twilight Sparkle a surprise party at the library when she would rather be studying. So she just kind of forces herself into her accommodations and throws a party instead. Cool. So <laughs> we have a, a cast of characters, you're saying, all yes. different in design and you if you wanted them to all play together at home you'd have to buy a bunch of different toys so yeah, that I have you can some. brush their hair and, on my and i'm so unsurprised <laughs> they're shiny they're sparkly so amazing turns out the mayor and the moon ends up returning crazy and now the oh. moon doesn't have the mayor and the moon anymore so those craters that formed the unicorn are now gone because why, the mayor has it? appeared and celestia has disappeared so Celestia is missing. The Mare and the Moon is here. She's here to bring Eternal Night, which is kind of a bummer to all of the ponies. Yeah, because crops don't grow at night. Yeah, mostly that one. Yeah, I mean, the dirt food. horses would know about that. Yeah, the food thing's kind of an issue. So do, th do they only grow like wheat? Because horses <laughs> love wheat. Applejack's family has an apple orchard, obviously. Or horses makes, do love apples. Horses love it. I've seen the road to El Dorado. I know how horses feel about apples. So in order to defeat Nightmare Moon, Twilight recalls the elements of harmony from the legend. And so she sets off to find where they are. And it is said, and she finds that the last known location of the five elements was in the ancient castle of the Royal Pony Sisters. And however, there are six elements of harmony, but only five are known. Oh, this is just like my Legend of Zelda fan fiction. <laughs> And I wish CJ was joking, but this is really close to his Legend of Zelda fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Brian, what, are we, what are you doing to us? Please. You're no. gonna play a game! And you guys are going to guess which element of harmony each of the ponies represent. <sighs> Fran, I told you if you wanted to do a bit, you have to name it and you have it's to called game have time. a little elements of harmony little, edition. That's all I got for you. <laughs> you have to do a little opening bit. You have to be like, give it a theme song, like Mm. Do, 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 do. game time like something like that what's so, the rules of your, your game your job you is to game guess master. which element each of the ponies that twilight sparkle met represent because spoiler alert they're gonna all become friends as just shown earlier so the rules are that i will give you a series of clues and depending on how early on you can guess the element that they represent you will get more points 
So the first clue will be the name of the pony and a picture and physical description of what that pony looks like and what their cutie mark is. And once again, cutie marks, I'm not going to get into that for now. You will, if you cannot guess it there, for two points, I will then give you the lyrics for the opening song, which give you some clues as to what element they represent. And then Classic finally, anime. in the show, there is, of course, a scene where they demonstrate the element that they represent. And I will give you a description of the scene from the episode to give you a final push to guess the correct element okay do uh question i will give you an example uh, do, of all well this. do we do we know the elements ahead of time no to be... yeah no that's, that's oh. what we're guessing that's what we're guessing oh what the we're guessing even are we even are yes, yes. okay but they're all <laughs> sort of friendship based they're all friendship related so rarity right. is a female unicorn with a purple mane and she has a cutie mark as three shining diamonds so if you can figure out what her element is here, you would get three points. So okay. one guess each. How do we how do we how do we buzz is, in? Just tell, is, do we, just, I'm well, fine. Right. Is purple a nay. clue? I don't know. Is, you said is she it? had a purple mane <laughs> like that mattered, and I'm trying I'm to I'm just trying to give a physical all, description of the character. Look okay, at, all right. Look at all her right. look at her look at her cheek mark, Ethan. That's the telltale the sign. Mark. Cutie mark. Whatever. Sure. Uh, all right, you have to you have to nay to buzz in, Ethan. That's the rule. No, it's like this. No, <laughs> nope. I'm buzzed right. in. Nope. Uh, mag it's as ma it's magic. It is not the idea of manifesting a magic. Okay. All right. So is we're it just gonna togetherness because there's nope. three diamonds. <laughs> it is not. So next that's, clue, that's two a... points. Oh dear. There we go. Why is it freaking out like that? Uh oh. No. Oh, I know, I know, buzz. Right. So the lyrics to the song are a beautiful heart. Uh huh. Her name is Rarity, and she has a beautiful heart. What so virtue she's a... could she represent? Chastity. You said. You said. <laughs> what well, one's the opposite of? Yeah, that's the opposite of lust. What's the opposite of? Of of sloth. Uh, temperance. I will tell you, my knowledge of the actual biblical virtues is very limited, so I just don't I worry. Don't I'll I'll let you I'll let you know when they line up. <laughs> All right, and then if this doesn't work, we have our final clue of scene from the episode where Rarity sees a sobbing sea serpent, and he's so upset because a black mist, which was Nightmare Moon, came by and cut off part of his mustache. And so oh, Rarity damn. is like, oh, you poor thing. You're so upset. I will generously give you a part of my tail and attach it so you can complete your mustache and you can look fabulous again. What about okay, magic? Fran was, fr <laughs> Fran, was ch Fran was doing a cheese because we accidentally saw the answer. But it is g it's generosity. It is generosity. That did none of that tracked until the very end when you said generosity. I it's Hence a the beautiful one heart value there. Okay. Well, beautiful I'm guessing, hearts kind of. I'm guessing this CJ and I are going to be difficulty. fighting for like a single point to win. It's going to be lovely. Point. So this is. Hey, just, tweet at hey so tweet at us whatever you get and your score at yes, Spices with, at and if it's if it's above ten, Fran will send you a My Little Pony. You just have to give us your home email address and social security number. <laughs> First pony is Fluttershy. Fluttershy is a Pegasus with a yellow coat and pink mane. Her cutie mark is three butterflies. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm naying it. Yes, CJ. Uh, it, it's, is she uh, gentle? She's gentle. Okay. She's like a gentle heart. All right, Ethan, do you like, have a guess? Like, yeah, like compassion, caring, something like that. Very, very close. Very close. Okay. We're going to move. God. Now we're I gonna feel like I'm going to be mad. <laughs> we're going to move to the second clue. So two okay. points are on the table. In the opening song, her lyrics are sharing kindness. <laughs> yes, CJ, thank you for naying it. Kindness. You are correct. Is it kindness? CJ. Yes, I got it. You Fuck you, points. Ethan. Yeah, no. Hell yeah. Compassion. That's fucking nothing. 
So <laughs> it's kindness. Compassion is different. You can be compassionate and unkind. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. So she shows Ethan. kindness in the show by helping a manticore who is very upset, and the other ponies think he's like trying to like attack them. But turns out he just had a thorn in his paw, and Fluttershy shown him great kindness and helped remove it so he could feel better. <laughs> you could you could almost say that that was very compassionate of her. You could, but it's actually just kindness. Okay, right. yeah. She, right. the, the, manta, the manticore goes to the other ponies. He says, feel my hand. It still has the stigmata from whence your friend removed the thorn. We are friends. It's me. All okay. right, next up. Next up, next pony. Once again, a little more difficult. We have Pinkie Pie. Pinkie I know Pie. for a fact that this one's bullshit. Joy. <laughs> Pinkie Pie is a pink pony with a pink mane, and she has three balloons as her cutie mark. Joy, fun, excitement. You have to neigh in. That's in order eight to have guesses. It. I refuse to do that. Nay. <laughs> yes, yes, CJ. Thank you for neighing. Uh, I appreciate it. <laughs> celebration. Ha- party. Parties. She is a party pony. I will give you that. However, that is not her element. That's so bullshit. So no points. Ethan, do you have a guess? Those other things I said before. I don't, I don't remember recall them. <laughs> <laughs> you said like eight things. Sure did. Is, is uh, uh, Joy. Once again, very close, but not quite. So okay, let's move yeah, on cool. to the oh, second I think I, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. She is tons of fun, according to the lyrics. Uh-huh. Is yes, it happiness? It. Is it the phrase happiness? It is not happiness. Is Fuck! It, yes, though. God damn it! Is it fun? It is not fun. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> nice. Last Good clue try, worth though, one learning. point. A description from the episode. So in the episode, they're going through the creepy forest, and the, the ponies all get terrified of the scary trees. But not Pinkie Pie. Pinkie Pie doesn't see them as scary. She sees them as humorous. And she laughs at them in order to... Uh, the scariness uh, uh, nay, Mr. Ed. Uh, yes, uh, you uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, Humor? Funniness? Technically not correct. Is per- Jesus perspective Christ. on the world around you? <laughs> Ethan, do you I have a guess? That was my guess, yes. Okay, it's, well. It's gotta be like laughter, right? Uh, see, like I'm gonna give it to you because it is indeed Fuck laughter. yeah, hell yeah. Congratulations, you're now at three points to Ethan, zero. These get a little more difficult, so, gosh. Yeah, they were easy up until now. All right. Next All right. up, we have Rainbow Dash, a fan favorite. Rainbow Dash is a blue Pegasus and has a rainbow mane, surprisingly, considering her name is Rainbow Dash, and her cutie mark is a cloud with a rainbow coming out of it. What element of friendship or harmony might she represent? What have we had so far? We've we had have laughter. Had laughter. We've had generosity. We have generosity. had kindness. Laughter, generosity, kindness. What are friends about? That's what are friends generosity. about? What would me? What would I tell my good bro Ethan <laughs> if I had if it was if it was raining out and I said, "Bro, look at the rainbow." Though, uh, okay, uh, uh, the uh, setting up each other's jokes. Mm, okay, Ethan, do you have a guess for three points? Sil- silver linings. Silver linings is. Very poetic, however, far too complex for these elements. So uh-huh. we'll move on to the two. Come on, e- elements are the most basic things, Ethan. That's why they're elements. Uh-huh. Um, her the- lyrics in the opening theme are "Big Adventure." Huh. I'm w- I wait well, at this th- point because I refuse to nay, and so I j- I'll just let CJ <laughs> guess first every time. <laughs> Oh, that's a man horse who's tired. It's she in, intrepidness, courage. She's the courage Good horse. Guesses. Good guesses. Good uh, guesses. However, incorrect. Fuck. F- fun. We've had. Oh, well, shit. We haven't had fun. We've had laughter, technically, but also incorrect. Had... All right, we're down to Dark. one point then. The description from the episode of what Rainbow Dash does to showcase her element. And in the episode, Rainbow Dash reveals that her biggest dream is to join the Wonderbolts. And they are the flying squadron that does a lot of air shows and that type of thing. It's very cool. And while they're trying to find the elements of harmony, the 
Shadow Bolts come and try to convince her to join their team, but she has to leave her friends behind to join her, join them. But instead, Rainbow Dash chooses her friends instead of her dreams to become a star air <laughs> Loyalty. She's a loyal horse. CJ, you are correct. She is indeed loyal. <sighs> I'm a master of disaster, Ethan. What? What did anything but the last image have to do with loyalty? Like I said, they get harder as we go. That's not <laughs> She's hard. A big, That's just like make a guess. Big adventure, Ethan. <laughs> loyalty, <laughs> Ethan. Rainbows um, is a sign from Christ that he's not going to do a flood again. I promise. Right? loyalty oh oh my god cj you're so right i just wasn't thinking deep enough that's god's symbol of loyalty to (laughs) us the humans that he did he did do a flood on that one time i'm sorry (laughs) number four here for you or five if you include the example is applejack and i will warn you this is probably going to be the most rage inducing one so just Keep that in mind. So Applejack is an earth pony with an orange coat and yellow blondish mane. And on her cutie mark, she has three apples. I'm going to roll my I'm going to roll my answer back Mm -hmm. and say courage, because I think one of these is going to be courage. (laughs) It is not courage. It is not courage. Fuck. Fuck. All right. What? Stupid. Stupid, stupid. What what do we so all of these things have sort of they've they're they're like elements of have a good friendship. Yes. So I was gonna say like picking up the tab, but I guess that just falls under generosity. That is generosity, yes. Uh-huh. That's what uh So think about the trait that these acts of friendship represent. Right, right, right. Um <laughs> I don't know, feeding, your, being a good cook. All friend groups need that. Nourishment. I think that goes back to generosity. Is it, but that is is it nourishment? Um, the two point clue. I would be very happy if it was nourishment. <laughs> She's got apples on her. and strong. <sighs> and Christ, this would be hard. Is it, it Christ? Can't, it can't. It's not loyalty, I'll tell you Christ that. Christ needs to be in any good friendship. We all pious, know that. Pious, piousness. Uh... Fuck, faithful and strong, but it's not loyalty. This is bullshit. I know. That's why I said this was probably the most frustrating one. Strong. It's not strong of body. Wait, is she strong of body? Is she, she is like strong the of most body? Po- she is the most. She is. All right, well, we can ask additional six. questions here. Like that doesn't well, help you. Never... you. I okay. will give you answers oh, okay. to things sure. that will not All help right. you. <laughs> uh, uh, chastity. No. She's the chastest <laughs> of the horses. No. Oh uh, shit. Hmm. I'll I'll go the opposite way and say sexuality. She's, <laughs> she's, she's the horse show. who just every, like every, doesn't every necessarily good... she doesn't necessarily want to bang her friends, but she wants them to go out there and get some. Like she's in their corner, you know. She's not judging. Every, I mean, there is good... an implied lesbian relationship between Applejack and Rainbow Dash at the end of the series, but we'll... Mm-hmm. That's the epilogue. Okay. Every, so, every like good friend group points. has a sexy one. I, All right. I just guessed a thing pretty good. I feel like I deserve some points here. You do not. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. What happened is on their way to the ancient castle of the Pony Sisters, the cliff gives out from beneath the ponies and they start tumbling and careening into a ravine. However... Applejack catches Twilight Sparkle before she falls in, and Twilight's obviously terrified because she doesn't have wings. Don't worry, Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy are fine. But then Applejack <sighs> tells Twilight, you need to let go. And Twilight says, are you nuts? And Applejack says, you have to trust me. I'm telling the truth. You need to let go, and you will be <laughs> Is it honesty? Is she an honest friend? She is honest, yes. Ah! <laughs> what do you mean what? So you have to trust me. And it's not trust. That's too easy. What? So it's uh, she's. Uh, what? Why? What was the? What was the reveal? Why? Why did she say that? Oh, yeah. it's because um, Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy were going to catch her. 
I'll be totally honest. Fran did tell me this at one point when we were talking about this long before this podcast existed. And I uh-huh. did not remember. But I do remember being very angry when she told me what the horse with the apples on her represented. And I, I get to relive that mm-hmm. because nothing says honesty like apples and a cowboy hat. Correct. She's honest to herself. Is what she is. Uh-huh. Okay, so it's like a down home American thing where like those city folk are all like lying cheaters. It's you can you can trust a, a farm girl. She's honest. Finally, we have our protagonist, Twilight Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle is a unicorn with a purple coat, and she has a very fancy mane that is purple ish. Is it dark blue or purple? Who knows? Um, purple and with pink highlights and. Her cutie mark is a large star in the center that is pink, surrounded by five white stars. Fran, we would call that a starburst on a field of stars. Great. In the coat of arms. Uh huh. Coat of arms stock. Uh, I don't know. Is, it courage? Yeah. It is, is it courage? Is it courage? courage? It is She's not the courage. courageous horse. Uh, okay. I'm going to guess that her friend, and this is, I'm guessing hers is the friendship symbol that has been forgotten to time. Is, yes, but what is her element? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, her her element is boundaries because all of these other <laughs> ponies are getting up in your face, and that's just not how good friendship works. Important. <laughs> boundaries are important. Um, however, that is not. Well, apparently not, Fran. If it's not an element of friendship, it's apparently not important. All right. The implication here is that anything that isn't in these six not important to a good not friend. Not that important. Well, this is. <laughs> Arguably the most important. So let's look at that lyric clue from the song. Consent. And and magic makes it all complete. Magic. Is this one magic? It sure is magic. Oh, I was too early. (laughs) I said it at the beginning. I should have said it at the end. Correct. Correct. So My funny joke. Twilight Sparkle does does indeed embody the element of magic the hidden sixth element that was unknown to pony kind okay so it um and so the the pegasi are the ones who are no not the do pegasi, magic the, un, the unicorns are the ones who do magic right yes so like a group of six earth ponies like they could be work buddies, but they could never be true friends. Like every friend group needs at least one Pegasus. A magician, in it. right? This one is like the Lord of strongest of friendships. Fran, the the analogies between this show and both the Bible and the Lord of the Rings, and the Lord of the Rings also being a Bible analogy, are just innumerable. <laughs> because every group of every fellowship, if you will, needs a warlock or wizard to do magic. Correct. Okay. And then the rest of the group is sort of like I don't know. Uh, like farmers and like I mean that's what Sam was mm-hmm. is Applejack the Samwise Gamgee I guess Fluttershy merely the Legolas maybe I don't know no. I I'll, honestly honestly Fran we just taught we just did a quiz on them <laughs> I've already for, I've already forgotten which one is which again that's I know okay. Rainbow Dash the important thing Rainbow is that D- CJ won the game mm-hmm. hell yeah I did with uh, seven points I'm so, really proud check of you, out, CJ. Check out my <laughs> streams at Cooking with Spices because I'm. Right. A if you want to watch a real winner, I think I think we <laughs> check out those passed our our sales pitch numbers. We're good here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they defeat Nightmare Moon with the power of friendship, and Celestia comes back, which is kind of nice. And Princess Celestia up. kind of orchestrated the whole thing, telling Twilight Sparkle, "I knew you could do it." And Twilight's like, but you said to not worry. And so he's like, no, I knew Nightmare Moon was coming back. That's why I told you to go make some friends. Because mm. I knew you needed to make friendship friends. friendship is to, magic. To okay. activate the elements of harmony in order to and, defeat And Nightmare listen, Moon. I'm a ruler. I don't have friends. I have subordinates. <laughs> I, don't, well, I don't have to tell you anything, just so you know. <laughs> well, it turns out Princess Celestia uh-huh. and Princess Luna who was Nightmare Moon, um, they were the wielders of the elements of harmony originally. And unfortunately, Princess Celestia had to use the elements against her own sister to banish her to the moon. Fran, but two, now, the number, Fran, the number two is less than the number six. Well, their <laughs> friendship of sisterhood was so strong that they could oh wield all six elements. So, okay. Okay. 
And now so okay, so it is. It is just again. like you, you need to just have those virtues to use mm -hmm. the the you things. Don't have to have so sex. it could. Okay, so it could just be like one person who is very uh, just so honest, harmonious just, with themselves. She had a fight with her sister. How? Time. She had a uh, fight with her sister. I How mean, could she be harmonious? Right, it Whatever. does kind of seem like this all came about because they were not that harmonious. Sort of seemed yes. like they, yeah, that's like they, the whole they point. really screwed the pooch oh, on that why, one. That's why she couldn't use that's her. That's why Princess Celestia anymore. can't use the elements. Um, Twilight Sparkle now has friends in Ponyville, and she doesn't want to leave them. And so Princess Celestia was like, "Let's go back to Canterlot so you can continue your studies." And Twilight Sparkle was like, "No, I don't want to leave my new friends." And so Princess Aww. Celestia now has tasked Twilight Sparkle to stay in Ponyville to learn more about friendship and to report her findings to her. So Princess Celestia can see the progress she has made in the topic of friendship. So we have the premise of the seri series. Twilight Sparkle is learning friendship lessons and reporting on her findings back to Princess Celestia. And as a result, throughout the series, they're going to use the elements of harmony to defeat different baddies. And these are the five that I would like to showcase today. We've already gone over Nightmare Moon, so that one's done. We also have so she, But she's not bad. She's just, she she's was, good now. Yeah, she's good now. She's good. Is so that is fine. that a common theme? They all turn good or something? Not all of them. I don't yeah. know if that Shadow Horse can be redeemed. He looks pretty evil. That being said, this Chimera looking silly goat man, he seems like a good fellow. I think you'd like Discord. He's fun. <laughs> he's discord he is discord guys okay so this he's just all sorts of parts put together he is discord yeah what's really cool about the castle in canterlot is that they have stained glass windows for like oh my god you just glazed over canterlot as if i wasn't gonna talk about all right yeah, <laughs> yeah and not, um not. it depicts when princess celestia and princess luna had to use the elements of harmony to imprison discord in stone what so this is an example of when Princess Why didn't they make Luna friends with him? It. Yeah, I have to say, all, they solve all of their problems by putting them in big rocks. <laughs> be it the moon, or just big rocks, or There's the earth, I There's a reason why there were problems, and maybe Princess Celestia shouldn't have the elements of harmony anymore. So, you know. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> all she does is just like... <laughs> Into uh, stone, uh, yes. prin Princess, I got you your tea. It's a uh, chamomile. I asked for Earl Grey. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> into a rock with you. Stone. You're a stone. Stone, stone pony. As, as, uh, uh, P P Pegasi, bring me my next biggest stone. As, I'm sorry, man. That one already has the uh, the taxi driver in it. Ah, oh, darn. S stone. You're in a stone now. So they put my favorite character in a big rock. So, but since the princesses no longer have a connection to the elements, as we discovered in the first two episodes, this is um, the end of the first. Actually, sorry. That was the beginning of season one, those two. Now we're at the beginning of season two. So beginning of season so two, if Discord ends up breaking free from his stone prison because the magic that was keeping him contained wore off because they no longer have the connection to the magic. Sure, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, sure, yeah, sure, I can, sure, sure, I can sure, actually sure. dig that. That's good. That's good magic craft. So now he has broken free. And... Whoa. Princess Celestia summons Twilight and her friends to Canterlot and s to tell them we need your help to put Discord back into his stone prison in order to save Equestria from his chaos. Uh -huh. and and it, is she is she kind of like like hey so I get this one are there any other people who were in stone that I should know about <laughs> kind of before we get further along here. everyone who's been in stone is probably going to not be in rocks anymore so we do need a, like a working list I think he is the last one technically in stone the other ones have been banished places but not in stone <laughs> it's the, the asteroids or something the moon I don't know put them outside they're banished elsewhere just not inside stone so uh -huh, uh -huh, Princess uh -huh. Celestia has obviously been keeping the Elements Harmony safe in the castle so they can use them when needed. Um, unfortunately, they're gone because <gasps> Discord stole them because turns out... Because why can, wouldn't uh, he? Yeah. Whoopsie! <laughs> Whoops! Yeah. They're missing. And uh, Discord have to go loves on... riddles. Oh my god. He's so he loves mm. riddles. Riddle it's... me this ponies basically what yeah. has four legs clip clops but never stops it's, yeah. it a, it's a is dirty it, earth actually. horse is it a horse <laughs> yes you figured okay 
you may have the crystals. No, nope. <laughs> so okay. we're friends he, now. He does <laughs> set up a riddle to help them find the elements because you know, gotta. That's not very chaos. A, ri- a riddle is very. A, a riddle, by definition, chaos, is the opposite yeah. of chaos. It has a very specific answer. Well, it does have specific. He just likes messing with the ponies. Let's be real. So <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Discord takes the elements. He taunts them a bit, and he tells them to retrieve your missing elements. Just make sense of the, this change of events. Twists and turns are my master plan. Then find the elements back where you began. So, so they have to go on a journey of friendship, and then when they're done, they go back to the magic Starting box point. that had them in them, and then they're in there. That's a great guess. We'll find out if it's correct. So Twilight Sparkle being so bright is like twists and turns. Why? There's a hedge maze in the castle grounds. <laughs> That's obviously Outside that window, <laughs> actually. <laughs> How convenient, right? Um, so okay. they end up in the labyrinth, and inside the labyrinth, as you can see, as... If you yeah. had the video version. Um, yeah, I'm looking ponies, at six horses. In six, a, the six in ponies a... are now isolated from each other, and they're going to be <gasps> set through different trials by Discord. Is and flying Discord's against ultimate... the rules? Oh, actually, yes. So Discord took all nice. of their um, horns away. So they took away their unicorn horns, and he took away their wings. So <laughs> that's, like body, away, that's like body he horror stuff. Did take away the earth ponies' hearts? Are they... <laughs> That's, I mean, eventually took away, we'll get there. Took but, away her legs. Yeah, no, her, I just, I just I've taken see, away your connection like, to the earth, your legs. Yeah, I, I took away all the advantages that you have. The Pegasi, your advantage of wings, the earth ponies. Well, you're kind of the baseline, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I actually yeah. gave you a little, you're faster now <laughs> because I needed you all to be at a baseline. It, it was easier to raise you up than to bring the other ones <laughs> all the way down to your level. <laughs> Turns out the labyrinth, uh, princess, not princess, sorry, she's not princess yet. Twilight Sparkle what? gets pretty what? upset. What? <laughs> Strike that from the record. Oops. All right. <laughs> um, Twilight Sparkle is pretty upset because she's like, Discord, you said the elements would be in here. And he's like, no, I said the elements would be back where you began. And Twilight's like, seriously. And so then she has to tow the four grumpy ponies with her because Rainbow Dash is gone. And she has to take the other four with her to try and figure out where the out where they began. And it's not the box. It's not the chest. It's actually back in Ponyville where she Season lives. One, yeah. uh-huh. And yeah. um, it's in a book where she keeps the journal of the lessons that she's learning uh-huh. with her friends. Uh-huh. And that's uh-huh. where he ruined the, the journal. Are. Rainbow Dash is gone, so she just throws Rainbow Dash's element on Spike, who, her dragon assistant friend. Kay. And uh, guess what? The elements don't work because they're all jerks now. Twilight's disheartened. They can't defeat Discord. It's raining chocolate. There's cotton candy clouds. Things are crazy. That sounds rad. Oh, so everything's better? <laughs> what are people complaining about? I will say Pinkie well. Pie was... Very tempted by Discord's chaos. She's like, this sounds great. What's the problem here? Oh, yeah, I this don't nice like chocolate. We oh, do like the chocolate rain. So Twilight's is hurting all of her friends are jerks. Yeah, no, I was, I was going to do it, but I was like, CJ will do it. It'll be fine. Yeah, I got there. Twilight no longer believes in the magic of her friendship with her friends because it is uh, gone. So they let her down. I can relate. Yep. And then <laughs> Spike. So side note, the way that you send letters back and forth between Princess Celestia and Twilight is Spike is a magic dragon and he can like burp out letters and like burn them up to be sent somewhere else. Oh, I, I hate that. that. So, I don't know. Hate so, they're, like, pi- they're like pigeons? Like what is their... So, it's, like a, no, okay. it's like if a pigeon just like ate just your letter up. and then a different pigeon like yeah <laughs> pooped it out over in a different place. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hate that. Celestia starts sending back all the letters that Twilight sent her about the lessons of friendship that she learned in the first season and that Twilight starts rereading them and she, she realizes the friendships that she's made are the true magic and she needs to be reminded of magic. all the great times she's had with her friends and her friends only need to be reminded as well. So she sets off to remind her friends about <gasps> what great friends they are and their big adventures together. And 
she uses magic to make them remember and she gives them a little flashback spell and we get a lovely montage of season one of <laughs> all friend, the things that they did. <laughs> people remembering things that happened isn't magic. It's just like, hey, rem- just a- if anything, it's just if anything, it's just a cutaway. Yeah, it, yes, essentially is what happened. She used a cutaway to remind her friends that they're friends, basically. <laughs> okay, oh, cool. So they've restored cool. their magic, they've restored their friendship, and they're able to defeat Discord. And they get a cool stained glass window in the, yeah. in, in the castle. They put, do they put him in a big rock? Yes, he's backed into stone, yes. That's the <laughs> worst, that's such a bad, that's such a bad method for dealing with stuff. Just kill him. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, I mean, do we have the threat then that if ever their friendship wanes again, he's just going to pop right yeah, out of Yeah, that he's going to come back. We know that. Well, Princess Celestia believes that Fluttershy is the key to reforming Discord. Fluttershy's uh, kindness. Because she resisted what? the... She Wait, resisted was, his... wasn't there a different one that was kindness? I thought she would... No, 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 Fluttershy no. was the kindest one. Was, uh, is Twilight kind. Sparkle is magic. Okay. I yeah. got it. I'm back in it. I'm back in it. Discord Discord is a good guy now and he's going to help the ponies do stuff. He's going to help them because his he is one of the most powerful magical beings. Yeah, I was so going to say right. I can't ima- I can't imagine a problem that can't be solved via this friendship Correct. magic or chaos magic. Correct. So Discord is considered even more powerful than the Alicorns as a result. So that's why Princess Celestia would like to have him on their side because she recognizes that his power is even greater. She's decided that you can't solve all problems by putting them by in large rocks. By turning them into stone, yeah. Friendship what? instead of rocks, yes. Okay, so yeah, what's the conflict then? They're just a bunch of horses that can well. solve any problem <laughs> with a chaos demon who can solve any problem that they can't. Well, you'll find out that Discord struggles a little bit with being reformed. For the next episode, we do need to know who Starsfold the Bearded is. So Starsfold the Bearded is known as the most important conjurer of the pre-classical era of Equestria. And he is renowned as like one of the greatest, like the greatest wizard. And Twilight was sent a book of Starsfold's unfinished spell. So he was a unicorn who like did a lot of research into magic and was creating a lot of spells that pony that unicorns use today. And the spell was on the last page of star swirled bearded secret unfinished masterpiece. And he was never able to really get it right. So he abandoned it. And princess Celestia thinks that twilight is the unicorn that can really figure out what the spell was supposed to do. And so twilight goes ahead and casts it because got to figure out what it does. So she says, from one to another, another to one, a mark of one's destiny singled out, alone fulfilled. And Twilight says, well, that's a stupid spell. It doesn't even rhyme. It so doesn't. Obviously, it doesn't do anything, right? Does it get rid of her cutie mark? It doesn't get rid of the cutie marks. However, it does mix up the elements of harmony, which in turn mixes up the cutie marks and the true selves of her friends on accident. God, CJ, you were correct. <laughs> I, that's get- that's kind of that's pretty like fucked up if you think about it that's like yeah. uh i uh I did a spell that changed all your livers well it uh, changed their souls essentially they changed uh, so they- it's a body swap thing no they're still them but they're really bad at what they're trying to do now because your cutie mark is supposed to be like your destiny and since she changed the elements of harmony their destinies have changed and she can't really Gross. just fix them like she did with before with like memories because it's not their memories that are the issue. It's because they're true they're, selves. They're true. immortal they're souls. Christian <laughs> souls. And All right. as a result, um, Twilight has to figure out how to get them to remember who the tr- their, their true selves are. I just can't imagine there being enough symbols to represent the destiny of a full population of people like you'd have to have some duplicates but what about cj what about a full population of horses (laughs) oh never mind that does make sense to me now ponies are the only ones with cutie marks the other animals don't have them other animals oh my we no we can't we just keep going (laughs) friend we cannot we cannot talk about other animals all right so twilight realizes how to fix them Friendship is magic. Everyone's friends again. The elements work. Everything's great. But suddenly, um, Twilight realizes how to finish Star Swirl's spell, so she casts it. Huh? 
From all of us together, together we're, we're friends. With the marks of our destinies made one, there is magic without end. That when rhymes. She just need, yeah, she needs to make it rhyme. When she casts it, suddenly all of her friends' elements burst with energy and they all collide upon Twilight. And Twilight is then transported into an ethereal. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> and Princess Celestia is there. Okay. So, yeah, she's yeah, she <laughs> seems like she can do whatever she wants. Yeah, she does what she wants. She's an alicorn. So she is the one who sent Twilight Star Swirl's unfinished spell because she understood friendship more than Star Swirl did. Star Swirl the Bearded just did not understand the magic of friendship. Sure. But today, Twilight has proven that she's ready. Stars the the bearded guy was a fucking nerd. He and have friends. <laughs> Twilight is ready she... to become an alicorn. Oh, it hurts! Oh, the wings are sprouting from my spine! So, this is how you turn into an alicorn is by Doing showing that you deserve it. So she finished an amazing spell. She's tapped into a new type of magic, which is friendship. So, it's because she's found worthy. So, Princess Twilight is now a princess. And so they have a coronation to recognize that there are now four alicorn princesses in Equestria. It's time to learn about the Tree of Harmony. Oh, it's cute. It's like the Yoshi tree from Yoshi's so, Story. Ooh, it's, let's it's talk a about Yoshi's Story. We'll do some I mean, Yoshi later. 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 Later, we'll do more Yoshi lore. So the Tree of Harmony is a magical tree that held the elements of harmony. It's located mm-hmm. in the Cave of Harmony mm-hmm. in the Everfree mm-hmm. Forest. That's the creepy forest they went through in the first episode when they were trying to find the the castle of the sisters. It was called the Everfree Forest. It's just a short. That is not a horse pun. It is not. Near the ancient castle of the Royal Pony Sisters, and the tree controls and contains all that grows in the Everfree Forest because the forest is creepy and there's like bas- yeah, it's basilisks. So there's like basilisks running about, there's manticores, <laughs> there's vines that want to choke you and kill you. You know, mm-hmm. that's why the Tree of Harmony is there to try to Yeah, get- mystical forest, of course. Yeah, mystical sure. forest. Things trying to kill you, standard. So... At the beginning of season four, uh, Princess Celestia and Princess Luna disappear, and they only what figure that do? out because after Twilight's coronation, right, um, a couple days pass, and then the sun never went down, and the moon never, like, things are wrong. They didn't do their sure. duties. And so they're like, well, shit, that's a problem. And also, it turns out the Everfree Forest is invading Ponyville, and there's no princesses to take care of it, except for Twilight. Because Cadence is off ruling so the Crystal she's, Kingdom. She's a princess, yeah. So, but she she's a Crystal Pony princess, so it's... Why don't different. we simply have Discord solve this problem? Well... Yeah. Turns out, Discord... That's racist. ...might have slightly contributed to the problem, but not on purpose. God damn it, Discord! <laughs> so, they're trying to figure it out. They can't figure it out. Then... Zakora, who is the zebra who lives in the Everfree Forest, who's like the potion maker of the series, once again, she's a zebra. Over. She is a zebra. She doesn't have a cutie mark, I'm pretty sure. Can't remember. Well, she's not a pony. She's a zebra. She's a zebra. And she's from a different land. I'm learning. Um, so, oh, oh, and she's foreign. So, so she has. And she's she has no place in, in society. In, she also only speaks She in has no destiny. <laughs> She makes potions, though. That's cool. She makes potions, but there's only a there's a potion that could help them, but it only resp- responds to alicorn magic. And guess what? Mm. Twilight's an alicorn. So she zaps it with some magic and takes a sip, and it gives her visions and flashbacks of the Tree of Harmony and when Princess Celestia and Princess Luna discovered it and used the elements to contain discord because they needed it. And mm. they took the elements from the tree. And there was what? some there was some concern that the tree would lose its magic, but it had enough magic there, even without the elements, that it could contain the forest. For a thousand years. Wait. Well So the so, tree grew friendship? No, it well, grew friendship crystals. Pay attention, Ethan. Yes, it grew the it, so the elements were on its branches, kind of thing. And we'll learn about the <laughs> so, origins of so it. So friendship is a type of fruit. No. Friendship is tree, Ethan. Pay attention. Tree has an origin story that's <laughs> okay. coming. I okay. promise. Um, so they need to save the tree <gasps> because it's getting it's choked dead. by the yeah. forest. 
and we have they have to give up their elements of harmony to save the tree. Oh, so well, they don't get to have I mean, them anymore. Oh, because the power creep, right? Yeah, yeah. So they they can't have the elements. They have to give it back to the tree, so the tree is healthy, and the tree is now saved. And it Aww. turns out that Princess Celestia and Princess Luna were captured by the forest and they're by the tree because it was like, the, ah, yeah, the, yeah, well, divine the tree. And so they save the, the tree, but they no longer have the elements of friendship Aww. or the elements of but, harmony okay. to use against big. But baddies. they live forever on a tree. Yep. But what's interesting <laughs> is when they give the tree the elements, a new flower sprouts and a chest with six keyholes appears. This is just like my Legend of Zelda fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they need to figure out what this box is. And that sets up season four, essentially. And so, so that's they what don't. The they never get to use. Whoa, hold on. Oh, I thought that that big cloud of of cosmic dust was coming out of. No, that's just that's Princess Luna. Don't. No, Princess okay. Luna. She's cut out from the screenshot. So there's a chest of harmony now that they have to figure out how to open. And Wait, harmony it, was just one of the six ones. No, harmony is the whole thing. Harmony is not one but, of the elements. It's called the elements of harmony. Yeah, yeah. It's all blah 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 of harmony. Oh my god. We kept I, guessing I, harmony. <laughs> it's not harmony. I, uh, okay. I um, don't know where I pulled that from. So the reason why Discord's like kind of responsible is that when he was first like turned to stone Trap. by Princess Celestia mm. and Princess Luna, he spread uh plunder seeds, I think is what they're called. And they were seeds designed to sprout and sap the magic from the Tree of Harmony. Mm. To, and it, they just took a really long time to germinate, and they finally germinated. We now they sprout, and they have chest fruit. We have now have a fruit that is a chest of secrets. And then Princess Luna and Princess Celestia have a vision of a creature sapping the magic from a pony and consuming it. And it turns out it's Lord Tyrick, who was previously banished to Tartarus and has escaped. <laughs> yes. No. Tartarus. <laughs> no, no. Just keep going. Nope. Okay, sure. So it's Tartar great. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nope. there, yes, it's guarded by Cerberus. Yeah. Okay. No, it is. Yeah, yeah. In, yep. Historically. So, Lord Tyrick is a male centaur who steals magic to gain power. Tyrick and his brother Scorpan came to Equestria from a distant land to steal the Equestrian magic, because there's a lot of magic in this place. Scorpan eventually grew to love the ways of Equestria, though, and tried to convince his brother Tyrick to stop with their plan, and Tyrick refused, so Scorpan informed the princesses of his brother's plan. Princess Celestia does not task Twilight with this mission. She tasks Discord, because Discord is a very powerful magical being. And... Yeah. Discord's like, I should be a princess then. What's this? <laughs> like, come on. Yeah. And he is then? He's not. He's just doing a thing. Discord's friends with the group now. And he's like, hey, Twilight, you haven't made much uh, progress on opening that chest, have you? It's been 26 episodes and you haven't done shit. What you doing? It's been 26. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so she, um, he's like, I've been reading through your journal and I bookmarked some real good passages. E excuse me. <laughs> That's the like most private place of a person. You just yeah. read through it. We need it's to have another talk friendship. about friendship discord. Well, it's I really think that right consent now. and borders should be part of the friendship <laughs> magic two, tree. Two, uh, two of our friend ponies. Two here. of the six. None of the ponies have that element. I'm sorry. Oh <laughs> but, my God. So book uh, the, excuse me. So the journal has been written in by all six ponies now to share all of their lessons, not just Twilight's lessons of friendship. And so Discord has gone through and bookmarked some really important passages that they should maybe take another look at. And so... Nice. Discord goes off to find Tyrick because Discord has this cool ability where he can, he can sense a disturbance in the force, essentially. So he can sense yep. a disturbance in magical forces, and so just, he can find Tyrick. Just like Tyrick, Goku's just... ability to sense people's energy and instant transmission to them great and so discord notices when Tyrick is just you know sucking magic from ponies and Tyrick appeals to discord's ego and is like how is why are you the master of chaos tying yourself to these dumb ponies 
Because it's going to be some errand boy. And so yeah. Discord's like, just, you got a point. Just and like Satan to Judas. Turns. So he Discord has now joined Tyrick in his quest to absorb all the magic. God damn it. I know, right? But that's good. He struggles a little bit. He makes some mistakes. Um, he makes some out. mistakes, like trying to steal all of the magic in the world. He he, he is personally not stealing it. He's just helping Lord Tyrick steal it. He made the mistake mm, okay. of limiting that's, himself, even though he's an infinite cosmic being. Yeah, I don't yeah. I don't know. I don't like that logic that you're throwing out for Fran. It's just it's he just stood by while others did bad. That's yeah, fine. It's <laughs> fine. But going back to the ponies, um, from the journal they realized that throughout the season each pony has had to come to terms with their element and make difficult choices in order to live up to their honesty or to lie to make someone feel better or the best way to show kindness was to kind of make somebody upset a little bit because you can't always make them happy in order to do what's best for them they all had to make difficult choices and at the end of the episodes they were that given a token part of a choice well, oh okay they were given a token and it turns out those tokens turn into keys. So the key, these turn into keys to open up the chest. But notice there's only five keys, but they need six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so because they haven't presuma- quite figured it out. presumably Twilight Sparkle hasn't come up with her key yet because yes. she's sort of the the protagonist of the story. Correct. Twilight has not made a hard choice about magic yet. So- I would like to say that I don't. I don't think they're given equal screen time to all the ponies. It really feels like they have they a favorite do. among Twilight Princess. They do get their own episodes and stuff. It's just not as integral to the plot of yeah, the I elements of harmony. I, I I'm just gonna say if you don't mm. if you don't choose Twilight Sparkle as your favorite, you probably have low self esteem. Mm-hmm. She is my favorite. Uh so Lord Tyrick is sucking all the energy, and now he has enough. Uh, power to not only consume the magic from unicorns which is readily available because they have like a conduit but he can now steal the flight from Pegasi he can steal the earth pony yeah, f- strength <laughs> okay I was gonna say yeah Fred what does he steal from the ground <laughs> the ground horses so they can no longer tend to the land and okay. he gets they so can't, powerful. They can't pull plow anymore, ma. <laughs> Did he pulls out the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, ma. It's my pony. I'll take her out. <laughs> he is now powerful enough to steal the alicorn magic. <gasps> and no. they have the plan that they need to get rid of their magic so he can't take it because alicorn magic is very powerful. <laughs> and okay. Tyrick also doesn't know that there's a fourth princess. He only knows of the okay. three. He only knows yeah. Celestia. He doesn't really Luna talk to other people, so he's kind of he's not up on the yeah, news. He well, and Discord even hasn't though he's told him. Yeah, I was gonna say he's working with Discord. Discord hasn't said anything. All right. Discord has not said anything, and so the other three princesses come up with a plan because they can't just get rid of their magic; they have to put it somewhere. So they're mm-hmm. gonna store it inside Twilight. So Twilight's going to absorb the Alicorn magic from the three other Alicorns, and she has to be the the housing unit for it. You and she will has to learn become how to con- as a god. <laughs> this is just like Dragon it. Ball Z. <laughs> yeah, she has to learn how to control it or else, you know, the gig's up. Yeah, it will consume her. Yeah. Of course. So they give all Ultra of the magic instinct. to Twilight um, to hide it from Tyrek. So when Tyrek gets there, Tyrek's like, where is your magic? And they're like, you can't have it. He's like, it's stupid. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll steal your strength so you stop pulling plows. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> so Discord, uh, so Tyrek notices the fun stained glass window and is like, wait, there's a fourth one? What, what the fuck, Discord? Why didn't you tell me, right? And so Discord's like, I chaos! <laughs> I didn't want to give you all the information, obviously, because how um, do I know? So I like riddles. Tyrek ends up giving Discord like a pendant of like, showing their loyalty and gratitude towards him of, for his help. And Discord ends up helping Tyrick capture Twilight's friends. And um, Fluttershy is very hurt and said, I thought we were friends. And Discord says that Tyrick can offer him more than friendship and tea parties. I'm sure neither of you would see this coming, but it turns out Lord Tyrick betrays Discord. What? what? I, I, I actually did think it was going to be the other way around. No. So quite honestly. Lord Tyrick has, since he has the alicorn magic, 
Does he have the other part? No, he took the no. magic. Yeah. From so everything he took the magic but from every the stuff. unicorn, every Pegasus, every pony now. He now has enough magic that he can now overcome the chaos magic. And he can now absorb the chaos magic that is Discord. Someone needs to put that guy in a big rock. So if you recall, Twilight doesn't have a key yet because she still has to make a choice about magic. Of course. About magic. And so Shh. Twilight has a hard choice to make. So he discovers Twilight's location and they have an epic, epic magic fight. It's pretty cool. And Just like Dragon Ball Z. They are at an impasse because they have similar power levels. And so Tyrick proposes... How about you give me all of the alicorn magic in Equestria and I will release your friends? You can trust me. <laughs> no, is, <laughs> is what she said, right? Uh, she goes with it, despite the protests from her friends telling her to not. Okay, and... wait, wait, wait. I want to guess. Oh, shit. You already showed it. I knew, though. Because then he's like, oh, he has a cool necklace to show how much we have good bros. Yeah, so Discord then took the pendant from that Tyrick gave him. Turned out Tyrick actually didn't like that pendant because it was from his brother who betrayed him. And he said, so he gave it to Discord because he didn't care about it. Betray is kind so, of a weird word, but yeah. Yeah, so Discord then gave the pendant to Twilight as an actual token of their friendship and gratitude and loyalty. Because although she's had character growth throughout the series, that's not a physical thing she can shove into a box. <laughs> well, they transform into keys, so it's great. Of right. course, so, right. she does have a physical thing. <laughs> so she now has at least a thing that can turn into a key. Uh, so the group then realizes, Twilight, is that the thing? And she's like, I think this is the thing. So they go and they open up the chest of harmony. Surprise, surprise. Wait, he, he did what he said he was going to do? Yeah, he let her, her friends go. Because they're not threatening him now. a fucking rookie move. What? They're he, is, he, is, he is a god he without equal magic. currently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, why would he care? Mm, that's that's <laughs> other lands to so conquer. rookie. That's so rookie. It is. And so they open up the chest of harmony. And, and there was nothing but a mirror. Oh. They turn into super, super powered Saiyans. versions because they no longer have their magic, but they have the magic of friendship and the elements of harmony on their side, and they turn into like super crazy rainbow magic versions of themselves, which is a good merchandising line. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, you have to buy a whole new toy. <laughs> you gotta buy whole yeah. new toys to get this cool outfit. Okay. Wow. So they use their magic rainbow beams into <laughs> Tyrion. Just melt him. <laughs> they take back the magic from him and redistribute it to like the Like an ant beneath a magnifying glass. <laughs> and he ends up back to his non-magical self. Oh. He ends up back to his non-magical self, gets banished back to Tartarus in presumably a higher security. Back to hell with you! <laughs> you would uh -huh. hope. Um, Rascally little Satan. And he's defeated. Turns out the chest of harmony was a seed. Yeah, and you said that earlier. It turns into a dope castle tree. Oh, cool. A so, tree castle. So okay. Twilight's Twilight used to live in the library in Ponyville, but it got uh -huh. destroyed in her fight with um, Tyrick. And so oh, the oh. tree of harmony then used the chest of harmony and launched it and okay, so created kind of a, a now up. castle of friendship. In, at the location of the former library. Uh -huh. I am surprised that no one previously in this universe has been like, I should really work on building up friendships because they do make <laughs> the make most it. powerful magic happen. Well, in honesty, it is her destiny as shown by her cutie mark because her cutie mark is the elements of harmony like symbol and with all the... Okay, yeah, so the other ones just have to accept that they are lesser beings and true friendship is not for them. No, that the, they need to be true friends, but they do not get to uh, no, I the was, power I was talking of about, ultimate I was talking magic. About all, all horses outside of these six horses just need to accept yes. that theirs is a destiny to toil for these great, that these it's greater a, horses might learn it's a true friendship and system. become gods. Correct. Yes, that is what a caste system is designed yeah. to do. Yeah. No. It's if they're good. If they're good horses in this life, they'll be reincarnated as a horse <laughs> whose cutie mark is better. 
They have a sweet castle of friendship, and she is now the princess of friendship because she didn't have she didn't know what kind of princess she was before. Okay. And now she is the princess of friendship as a result. But okay. only one of six. Well, no, she is the princess because she's the alicorn. Yeah, the again, the why are her servants? Why did they make a circle round table? Okay, yeah, that's they true. All like work in the, together. In, I mean, it's right like in, in the King Arthur, right? It's like right. King Arthur. Council. They had a round yeah. table, but there was only one king. Yeah, yeah, same idea. All right, I'm back on board. Same idea. Same idea. All right. This I was falling off board, but you got me back. All right, so now we're into the falling action. There's only two more main. Oh, thank God! Everyone's favorite part. Do you guys recall Star Swirl the Bearded? Of course, no. Fran. He's a wizard pony. He's, He's the only one I do remember. With a cool hat. Well, he was part of a group called the Pillars of Equestria, we learn. So they represented the elements of strength, bravery, healing, beauty, hope, and sorcery. These six pillars were the ancient pillars of Equestria, but they were brought together by a friend. And they, but they soon to be, came to believe that the pony that brought them together wanted the, their power for himself, and so they cast out their friend who brought them together, and he then became envious of their power and stole artifacts from them, and he transformed into the pony of shadow, and he returned for revenge on the pillars of Equestria to rob I the world of hope and light. I see nothing wrong with this guy so far, and I relate to him highly. So to stop him, the Pillars had to make a grave sacrifice. They decided to leave behind a seed in hopes that one day it will grow into a force to stand against darkness for all time. But for now, they had to sacrifice themselves to rid the world of the Pony of Shadow. Rough. Which, their artifacts, the seeds, turned into... The Tree of Harmony, which then right. turned into the elements of Friend, harmony. The the concept of friendship, right? So they find this information out from Star Swirl's Lost Journal. So he has another book that was not found for a long time. <laughs> so he had a lost he had a lost spell, and he's like, "Here's the sequel, whole journal lost." What do you think about <laughs> that, Dum Dums? Yeah. So it turns out Star Swirl oh the bearded was actually a teacher of Princess Celestia and Princess Luna. So he uh -huh. was their teacher. And they're like, sure. if you can find out what happened. And nobody knows what happened to him. They performed a ritual at the Pwnhenge. No, no. <laughs> it's Pwnhenge, Ethan. We don't have time to analyze Pwnhenge. <laughs> Pwnhenge. To analyze. Yeah, you're right. It's a henge for ponies. It's Pwnhenge. So they, through their research, they found out that the uh, they at the Temple of Pwnhenge, they had their last stand with the Pony of Shadows. And... They visit the Pwnhenge, and because they have his journal and all this other stuff, they were able to see visions of their final fight against the Pony of Shadows. And it turns out, in order to contain the Pony of Shadows, they had to transport themselves and the Pony of Shadows into another dimension. Basically, oh my god, guys, time out. This is They are just straight up stealing my... My Dungeons and Dragons campaign at this point. <laughs> like, it is just spot on. I did. Beat for was beat. Like, I was like, oh, wait a second. Hold on. I wait, wait a second. <laughs> Hold on. So, yeah. So they have these visions. They see the final defeat. And it turns out they're in limbo with the Pony of Shadow. Which would exist because hell exists. So presumably Pony Heaven exists and Pony Tartarus exists. So. So. Twilight figures out or de or decides that she wants to try and bring the pillars of Equestria back and, and save them from limbo. And she figures out that if they can recover their artifacts that the Pony of Shadows originally stole, they could then use those artifacts and talismans to cast a spell to bring them back from limbo. And so they recover the pillars, talismans, put them in the Pwnhenge, and it worked. They got the pillars back from limbo. But Star Swirl the Beard is kind of pissed about it. He's like, what did you just do? She's like, I just saved you guys from limbo? He's like, you can't only bring us back. Because guess who came back oh. with them? Yep, whenever yeah, you... Yeah, I mean, yep. I, was, <laughs> I, was gonna, yeah. I was gonna bring that up because I was like, there kind of seems like no conflict here, but then they're just going to go undo his spell. So they summoned Satan. Whoops, So they accidentally brought the Pony of Shadows back, and he goes off and... 
does she looks stuff. Awesome. So the pillars, they decide to team up, team up with the main six to try and take down the Pony of Shadows because the elements of harmony are direct descendants from the pillars of Equestria. You said this is falling action. This is very, this is the opposite of falling action. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh this is the second climax. This is in the Lord of the Rings when they come. This is the scouring of the Shire for those who uh, whatever. I'm cutting well, that out. Keep going. There is, there no, is don't uh, later, but okay. Don't don't <laughs> <laughs> continue, continue, okay. continue, continue. Yes, I did make a slide called the Return of the Cake, so that is good. Yeah, that's good. All right. All right. <laughs> um, so they team up, they recover. Lots of things, but while they're trying to figure out how to defeat the Pony of Shadows, Starlight Glimmer, who we didn't have a chance to talk about, she deserves her own uh, episode. No. She continue. goes around, she's reformed, so she was mean and evil, and now she's better, and she helps the ponies mm -hmm. out with friendship problems. And she goes around asking the pillars, like, do you guys know why the Pony of Shadows is, like, a thing? Like, what happened? And turns out the ponies of the Pony of Shadows was originally a unicorn named Stygian. And Stygian was a pony like the rest of them, but he was more of a scholar than a hero. So he did a lot of the research and strategy planning and stuff. And he recognized that the world needed heroes to defend the rising evils that were coming. And he's the one who brought the pillars of Equestria together. And they saw him as, and then it seemed like he was jealous of their abilities and he started becoming envious and wanted their power for himself. So you earlier asked about what about the seventh friend? What happened mm -hmm. was, is that they cast him from the group. Exactly what we said. Yes. Yeah. Of them. yeah. yeah it, and then he became an evil god. That we happened. We this a solid two shadows. hours ago. Yes. And, and now they, and now they make, and now he makes let's plays alone in his house or whatever. Well, now they're going to try to banish him to limbo again is mm -hmm. the plan. But in order to what? do that. No, they should reform him and make him a good pony again. So. What happened, the reason why, is they saw Stygian as betraying them, so he stole those artifacts from them. And they thought he would return to, like, ask them for forgiveness. I'm so sorry. But the next time they saw him, his heart was bent on revenge. And they assumed that it was because he was taking it to make an enchantment to give, to take their powers for himself. In order to... Put the Pony of Shadows back into Limbo. They needed to sacrifice the artifacts from the pillars as well as the elements of harmony. So the elements mm. of harmony are going to disappear in this plan, essentially. In uh -huh. the fire. Yep. So in order to um, take down the Pony of Shadows, they go, they find him, they release some super magic. But while they're fighting the Pony of Shadows, they see the original pony unicorn Stygian trying to <gasps> escape from the Pony of Shadows. So Sweet Stygian boy. is still in there. And, well. What is that, some sort of metaphor? Well, he's literally in there. And so Twilight dives into the Pony of Shadows and she finds Stygian alone, cowering a little bit. And what happened was, is that Stygian wanted the pillar's respect. He's the one who brought them together. He planned the strategy. He read all about all the beasts they were facing, did all the research, but he didn't have any magic or strength, so no pony ever noticed him. And he went to Ponehenge to make a copy of their artifact so he could be strong enough to fight alongside them. Not to take their power from them, but he wanted to help them out. Yeah, but, but yeah, hold up. Yeah, but he did steal from them also. He could have like talked. He could have really. asked. It all comes down to communication, really. Um, uh -huh. so, yeah, I mean, okay. this, this was in the age before friendship, you see, CJ. Oh, you're so, right, right. Friendship, were friendship were hadn't fucking, been invented yet. They you're were right, all right. just garbage people who were being you're bad right. to each other. You're well, they every, were just, every... they were together out of convenience, really. Right, of course, so, of course. As a result, he got casted out. The the shadows and the darkness called to him and he was consumed by it. And as a result, instead of trying to banish the entire Pony of Shadows to Limbo, they tried to keep Stygian there with them and then mm -hmm. put the shadow away. 
And yep. it worked. And oh, stage hand was free. <laughs> and Yay. so now you little boy. The elements are still here. They because they didn't have to send all of the pony shadow back, just the shadow, and they kept the Stygian. So the elements of harmony are still around. And um. the pillars are now in modern times. And woo, everybody's we, here. It's fun. Yeah, we we need to maybe like teach them a little bit too about like communication, maybe talking to one another before throwing well, people into limbo and such. Turning it's them to really stone. A- yeah, it's just a really poorly managed society. If anything, those two worthless princesses who I guess their only job is to raise and lower the celestial bodies should have really been keeping a closer eye on things. Well, to be fair, they were taught by Star Swirl, the bearded, who he himself was not the best mm-hmm. at Yeah, no, it sort of and... seems like the people at the top are just bad people, but they also sort of perpetuate the system that keeps them at the top. Um, <laughs> now, if I... the ground horses had been running things, do you think that we would have such a, a a society based on these morals that are defined by the very elites that enforce yep. the status quo? Or would we be in a more equal society? Right. I mean, I think the thing that bothers me the most is that these are the morals I'm getting from this story, and I don't think these are the morals that I'm intended to be getting from this story. the art says more about the person looking at the art than the artists themselves. So maybe through this journey, maybe these these ponies touched your heart in a way. Mm -hmm. Fran, please tell me that I'm I'm setting up a wrap up here and not uh, (laughs) setting up a beginning of the end. We're now at the beginning of the last season, the beginning of the end. And Princess Celestia and Princess Luna have decided they're going to retire. They, they, That's... They're going to stop being the princesses and they're going to leave things to Twilight and her friends to okay. rule Equestria. Cool. Which is cool. Twilight freaks out saying, what? Um, but also while this is happening, there's a gathering of villains uh and so let's focus on king sombra here so king sombra we do have to do a bit of a spark note version of why he's in the series um king sombra was the former tyrannical ruler of the crystal empire which is now ruled by uh, the other Princess yeah, cadence the, right, the crystal ponies right he took over the crystal yeah. empire a thousand years ago but was banished into the frozen north before his banishment king sombra put a curse on the crystal empire however which made it vanish into thin air and when the empire returned so did <laughs> fucking sombra. got him <laughs> who attempted to retake it. And so that's when uh, Princess Cadence and everything was introduced was because they, the Yeah, they Empire seem to returned. have a lot of these, like, we put away the bad thing with the good thing. And then people are like, I'll bring the good thing back. And it's like, oh, you brought the bad thing back too. <laughs> yeah, the bad thing came back too. So King Sombra's back. They beat him. He was banished again, but now he's back again. Sure. It happens. So the king returns and he takes over the Crystal Kingdom. Crazy. So he takes sure. the crystal heart, which is like the magic of the kingdom, and he's now in control. Nothing can stop him. But then Twilight says, not my sister-in-law and my niece and my brother, you bitch. And so she gets the elements of harmony. Her and her friends grab him from the tree. They fight King Sombra. They defeat You're not him. supposed to do that! The forest! <laughs> they put it back. So oh, they, okay. Never just mind. Borrow him. Yeah, they borrow, they put them back when they're done. So they defeat Sombra. Everything's great. Woohoo. They did it again. Um, they put the elements back. The tree's good. Everything's great. And it gets destroyed. The tree is dead. Bummer. And well, the well, elements tree are happens. dead. And it's because Sombra wasn't actually defeated. He faked his defeat in order to follow the ponies to the tree of harmony to destroy it and destroy it he did and so now the tree is destroyed the elements are destroyed and he can now friendship do what is he destroyed wants. i mean the magic's gone right okay, and the, well friendship, friendship is magic, magic. <laughs> well so it turns out the magic was with inside them all along because yeah, friendship obviously. is the magic. Friendship is magic. Yeah. And so even without the elements of harmony, even without the tree of harmony, they are able to defeat King Sombra and bring peace to the realm yet again. And so ends the elements of harmony. They're destroyed. I okay. 
probably like it more the whole thing than I did previously, but I had no opinion before. I like that there's the base elements and you work together and the friendship and the that was inside you all along. That being said, they clearly read my fan fiction and stole all the ideas from it. So uh-huh. I'll be seeing some people in court and I'll maybe be seeing some royalties in my pocket pretty soon. I'll let I'll let all you guys know when that all gets sorted out from a legal standpoint. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you'll you'll know when the series has to officially change his name to CJ's Little Pony. Friendship is magic. Friendship is CJ. <laughs> I'll put it. In, I'll put it in twice. I'll say, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need both the title and subtitle. Actually, uh, get get some sweet Mattel money. I think it's Mattel who makes the Hasbro. toys. Okay, same difference. Anyway, Fran, uh, you have thoroughly opened my mind to the world of My Little Ponies. I can't wait till the next BronyCon. Uh, I will be... uh, No, I will be dressed up... That was you for uh, you to research. I will be dressed up... I will be dressed up as that little uh, baby pony that was stuck inside of the shadow pony. Mm -hmm. Um... And then I'll reveal to people I was actually the shadow pony the whole time. (laughs) Um, Stygian's the name of the river that's in hell. And that's going to do it for us here at uh, at the Lore You Now. Thank you for listening. Hey, we have a a fun little Twitter, at Spices With, where uh, we'll put some... Uh, supplemental content up on there. Maybe do a joke every once in a while. So come on, give us that follow. Uh, We've got a YouTube channel, Cooking with Spices. You'll have to probably search Cooking with Spices and then maybe like Mario Kart. That'll give you a fun little (laughs) jumping off point into our Let's Plays. We do stream Cooking with Spices at twitch.tv slash Cooking with Spices. That's probably all of that sweet, sweet content that you that you crave at this Uh, point that you're dying for more of listen hey if you were in the car listening to this if you're at work listening to this listening is fine but uh watching me get my ass kicked in elden ring or watching us uh get drunk while we play mario kart double dash that's a whole different experience uh but hey we have everything to to sate your needs Mm. friend uh Mm. Like I said, get us those get us those listeners and and I'll let you do whatever pony content you want. <laughs> Until then, <laughs> I've been CJ. I've been your lore master, Fran. I'm Ethan. And until next time and until we figure out a good outro, I'm chomping at the bit to say how much I love you guys. So Outro music.